This is in response to Death Cab for Jenny. Um, I am doing her I hate tag, but I'm going to do it I hate, I love. I guess it should be called love hate, love hate tag. Whatever, I'm altering it a little bit. Okay, so I made some notes. Um, first of all, she said she hates Paula Deen, and since I'm stealing the tag from her, I'm going to keep going with that. I hate Paula Deen too, but I also hate Rachel Ray. I do get that she has like really good, you know, 30 minute meals and all that stuff, and I would probably cook them, but I can't handle her laugh or her show. <laughs> I get really judgmental when it comes to her and Dr. Phil and Paula Deen. There's, it's like a, a pot I want to put those people in. It's a whole genre. Anyways, um, I also hate... Um, you know that commercial that comes on where it's like, you know the orphan children where if for three cents a day you could save their lives and now they have that version for animals? I love the idea that they have this and I hope people donate to it, but I cannot watch it. Every single time it comes on with the Sarah McLachlan in the arms of the angels, I have to like shun the TV screen and look down and I'm frantically looking for the remote to change the channel. I can't stand it. And I wouldn't ever donate to them only because I'm scared they're going to send me pictures of, you know, puppies left alone in gutters and boxes and I don't want that. <laughs> I want to give them money so that they'll stop putting those commercials and like those images burning into my brain. Um, styrofoam. I have a lot of these kind of weird idiosyncrasies. I can't stand the sound or touch a styrofoam. Even thinking about it, it's like fingernails on a chalkboard to me. When I was little, my grandma thought that I loved snow globes. Never did, but she thought I did. So every year for Christmas, she'd give me a snow globe and they're like encased in styrofoam. So... I could tell which one was the snow globe package and I would give it to my little cousins and I would leave the room while they opened up my gifts. They had to get rid of the styrofoam and then I would come back into the room. A little bit dramatic. Um, I'm the same way with wrinkled fingers. You know when you get pruny fingers? I can't stand it and mine get pruny really fast. I can't stand touching anything other than terry cloth, like a towel, when my fingers get that wrinkled. So therefore, I don't do dishes. <laughs> I'll do every other chore. I will do everything besides the dishes. I hate doing the dishes. Uh, um, oh, when people have like something with their outfit just a little bit askew, like um, I'm such a messy person. I'm totally not organized. I, um, when it comes to like my clothes and stuff, I'm lucky if I get them folded the same day that I washed them, that kind of thing. But when it comes to like a picture on the wall not being straight I will I will focus on that the whole rest of the room can be totally messy I will focus on the picture not being straight it's the same way with people's outfits if they have like a hoodie on and the little like dangly ties like one's up here and one's way down here I'm just staring at it I just want to fix them and some people I'll talk to them for a second and get the feel like they'll be okay with me jumping into their bubble and I'll fix them or if they get like the back of their jeans tucked into the back of their shoe on one shoe but not the other I'll, I'll walk up to strangers and try and fix that without them noticing. When we go to church, if I see someone with their tag out sitting right in front of me, my husband will actually go, come on, let's find new seats. <laughs> so I'm a little bit crazy with those kind of things. Um, I hate trying to spell illegal. I never spell it right. I always have to look it up. I hate that. Um, I hate the overused LOLs and those kinds of things. To me, it's the same as somebody saying like HECA still. I, I can't stand that. I think that LOL should be left to like preteens who have posters of Kesha on their wall. Um, I hate when the seam on my socks, this is another one of those. I'm making myself sound crazy. I, whatever. Um, the seam on my socks, if it like is under my toes and I can feel it, I hate that. And I hated it since I was little. I can remember being like four years old and my mom putting tights on me and the seam would go all crazy on my toes and I just start kicking my legs like crazy. The weirdest thing is my husband has the same thing. His mom told me that one day and I just like flipped out because how, how did we end up together? We both hate seams not being perfectly lined up against our toes. That's the end of it for my hates. Let's do my I loves because I have some weird I loves. Um, I love weird food combos and everybody always said, oh, I can't wait to see what happens when you get pregnant because you already eat which such weird stuff. When I got pregnant, it was bland. So dairy, that's all I wanted. Cereal, that was it. But when I'm not pregnant, I'm like, oh, I really need an artichoke and some teriyaki beef jerky right now. Like I, I'll get like that and I will go out of my way to try and make that craving happen. Otherwise I just keep thinking about it and thinking about it. One time I wanted ribs and I think like cottage cheese. <laughs> or something really odd. And my husband and I drove to six different grocery stores looking for ribs for me to make that night. I was dedicated. Um, I love the word cakes. Cakes. Yeah. 
I love aprons and anything like domestic. I try really hard and fail really hard, but I keep trying. I love aprons. I've got a collection of them right there. And I have, I have a lot more in our um, little mud room and stuff like that too. I love girly little aprons and I forget to wear them when I cook, whatever. Um, I love the movie Singing in the Rain that kind of goes with my old man crushes that I had in one of my other videos. I love Gene Kelly because that, um, I actually don't really like him in real life as far as his real personality. I hear that, I think he'd married like a 16 year old and abused her or something. I'm probably wrong about that, but I don't think he was the greatest guy, but he was an amazing dancer and he kind of has an amazing story as far as his dancing background. So apparently I love old men. That's what I'm getting across on YouTube at least. Didn't really address that until now in my own head. And the whole thing of everybody wearing stretch pants again, <laughs> normally I would say I don't love that because I do not have a perfect figure. I have a horrible figure. But the fact that I can wear maternity outfits with stretch pants and then wear them again while I'm not pregnant, like all my maternity clothes are the same as my not pregnant clothes. They're all super comfy and um, I wear stretch pants, comfy tops, and boots. And right now that's trendy, so I'm loving that. In fact, that's what I'm wearing right now. Maybe I'll show my outfit. I'll do that at the end. Um, I also love girl storybook characters like Pippi Longstocking. I love her. I've been her for Halloween when I was little and grown up. Um, grown up. And I love like Eloise from Eloise at the Plaza and Matilda. Any of those little like spunky characters who, you know, drive the people around them crazy. <laughs> but they're just very strong-willed. I love those girl characters. I want to write a story about um, my daughter and like put her as the star as one of those little children's book characters. Yeah. Okay. I also love knee-high socks. I wear knee-high socks all the time if I'm ever wearing socks. Whether they're seen or not, I like the feeling of them coming up to my knee. I am wearing that right now. In fact, I'm wearing stretch pants, boots, knee-high socks, and a sweater right now, so I might as well show that. The knee-high socks thing kind of goes along with Pippi too. She wore mismatched crazy socks, and I wear these all the time. It's not something that um, I'm even sure I can pull off, but I try. I do it all the time. So anyway, that's my I hates and I loves. I'll show you my outfit right after this. I'll go to a full length mirror. Sweater, stretch pants, crazy knee high socks, and boots. That's my nod to Pippi in adulthood. Oh, something else I love. This little person. <laughs> okay, that's my loves I hates.